Okay, trust me, this is weird, but it's... I don't know why I'm doing it, okay? Gotta get my Shakespeare energies. To make a plasma toroid or not to make a plasma toroid? That is not the question anymore, because I already know the answer. It is make a plasma toroid. Obviously. Okay, that's pretty dumb. Okay, so aside from that really weird intro into my video, um, a plasmatoroid isn't as complicated as it sounds, it's just a glowing ring of plasma. But it's definitely pretty complicated to make, and I just happen to be the perfect amount of dedicated and crazy to attempt to make one. So I'm just gonna go for it, see what happens. To start off, I wound two custom inductors, and their inductance is like, close enough? And after that, I assembled the PCB. After that, I cut and drilled some acrylic and put it all together. Amazing. It's time for the first test. It, it feels kind of early, but I guess it's a, sort of done already. Okay. Just gonna start adjusting the bias. Nothing. That's weird. Oh, the current draw is going up. Ah, I'm not sure what's going on. It feels kind of early, but I guess it's a, sort of done already. So, the circuit is an oscillator. I think the coil just doesn't have enough turns uh, and not enough inductance, so it can't properly oscillate. So I think that I'm just going to have to double the windings and see if that fixes the problem. I don't know. Hello there, friend. Right here is the moment where I forgot to film a whole bunch of stuff and then skip to other stuff without filming the other stuff. And uh, so I'm just going to tell you, it did work, and then I found out that it makes a high voltage. Okay, well I accidentally made another discovery by burning myself a little bit. This thing is actually capable of producing arcs. Whoa! Whew! It's kind of scary. So now that I know the circuit works, I kind of want to test it with the plasma globe that I have to see if it makes a toroid. Whoa! Oh! Oh no! Oh my goodness! Ah! This is the one thing I didn't want to happen! I mean, it's kind of cool in its own way. But it's not what I want. I'm now convinced that the machine works, but the cheap plasma globe doesn't work. When I run it with my Tesla coil, if you look at the arcs, they're just too short. They're not thin enough. Like, they should be more wispy, kind of just glowy energy. The plasma globe is too high pressure. I'm going to need to buy the expensive thing. This right here is kind of the part of the video where I really was considering giving up because uh, the, the globe was just way too expensive, so I considered maybe just like pivoting and using the small little like Lumatex or something globe that kind of made it plasmatory but looked bad. That's good enough. And then I tried to convert this video to a plasma flame video, but that just didn't really work out. So eventually I just decided that I was gonna do it and I actually bought the globe. I finally have an actual Xenon globe, so hopefully this thing will be able to create an actual plasma toroid. I got this from a company called Bagel Gen, and inside of it is 25 Tor Xenon, so it's a little bit higher pressure, but I think it'll be fine. Hopefully. So the first thing that I wanted to test now that I have my actual globe is just to see if it works. Um, and so I'm just gonna ionize the gas and see if I get this nice blue and kind of green colored stream from the ionizer. Look at how beautiful it is. It's so pretty. That is really crazy. The next thing that I wanted to try is actually just putting it on the ionizer coil and then seeing if it actually makes like any sort of plasma toroid. And I actually started getting pretty close like immediately, which was really surprising. There we go. Come on. Yeah, keep that energy up. I know you're sad. Come on. What? Eventually, after some more tweaking with the bias, I did actually get it to form like a stable plasma toroid, and I was so excited. But guess what? I didn't film it. And so uh, 
it also starts to form a ball, which is kind of weird. So I guess I should make the coil bigger. Maybe that'll fix it. So I ended up making a larger ionizer coil and it actually made like a full on plasma toric, but I didn't film it. And then my circuit board exploded, which I wasn't filming for. And then a little while later, while I was waiting for my new circuit board, my power supply exploded. And I wasn't filming there either because I was showing something to my friend. <laughs> but it works now, so I guess I can show that. Plasma toroid is working. Let me turn off the lights. Okay, you ready? Turn on the power supply. Look! It's so pretty. And it only draws 130 watts. Oh my gosh. Yes! It kind of probably just looks like a big glow on screen, but it is a toroid. That's epic. This is probably the lamest thing I could have said. Okay, so I was kind of about to finish off the video with a montage, um, which I'm gonna do. But I figured out something super cool uh, when I was about to just like, I don't know, test something random. I used a different coil. Here it is. Uh, see, it's stacked on top of the other one. But it has three turns and it's a little bit wider diameter and there's no like direct contact with the coil to the flask right here. And it actually works way better. So I'm getting this perfectly stable, centered, floating like toroid. And it, it just works. Like, <laughs> it's super amazing. Uh, so yes to extra risky experimentation that could break stuff, but it's definitely worth it. Well, that's kind of it for the video. I ended up actually turning this into a science fair project. One sec, let me just go get that. Here it is. So yeah, plasma toroid. Um, but I ended up winning the physics prize, which was pretty cool. And I got $125 from it, so extra money. Uh, this is probably my favorite project that I've ever done though. Uh, definitely gonna be making more plasma toroid stuff in the future. I actually, I'm working on this right now, a mini plasma toroid, so you'll probably see that in a future project. Well, 